Hey guys, welcome back. Ninja Llama here once again with another side project. Today we're going to be working on some little fulcrum clamps uh, that we can make on our Nomad. It only uses the 8th inch square end mill. And uh, you can download the project file from the forums, which I will have linked below. Ideally, you would also use this with their threaded plate that has a bunch of extra holes, but I just set this up so you can get a kind of, you know, idea of how it's supposed to work. Really handy. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here's the material that we're going to be making our little project out of. It's a nice pine that I picked up from my local lumber emporium. Our plans call for a 4x7 by, by half inch piece. You can see here that we're right under half inch, so this will work out just fine. I've gone ahead and marked our 7 inch line so we can fit it into the machine. So let's go ahead and cut to get started. Okay, so now that we're done with that step, it's a good thing we're not trying to win an award here for straightest cut, but we'll go ahead and use our carpet tape to, you know, secure it to the to the machine itself. And you're going to see me cover the entire backside of this piece with carpet tape. And if you wonder why, you know, I don't just put a couple strips, well, you know what? I can't really think of a good reason, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and just attempt to machine this and uh, see how it goes.
Okay guys, let's go ahead and take a look at our finished piece. You can make and see through the tape right here and right up here. I think I had the depth of cut set a little too low because you're supposed to just not break through. So you have to like pop the pieces out, but it, I bet, yeah, see look, some of our pieces are coming out on the tape. But we didn't actually dig into the tape, so I think we hit the absolute perfect depth. Oh, well, we did on that one side. Okay, the rest, the rest just has that little, um, that little skin that we wanted to see. So maybe our board was just a little thin on that one side. Oh goodness, this tape. There we go. Get out of here, tape. We're trying to pop out some parts. Oh, there's no one of the blocks. Not a big deal. Chew, tape. Okay, so here are four of our blocks, one of our step blocks. Let's go ahead and pop that dude out. Have to uh, take off this really paper thin edge. See, here's one of the, the little end pieces that the screw sits in. Here's a step block so you can set the height the height a little better actually feels really smooth nice going I think this was a success let's go ahead and just pop the remainder of these pieces out that's a really cool feeling being able just to snap these out well oh there we go I was gonna say well we could snap the others out the board was just a little bit different on this side go ahead and snap our our first clamp out actually take a look at it we will have to tap this end and I know it's wood but these are pretty light duty clamps so I bet we'll be okay look at that that looks pretty good awesome I say that's my first successful actual project all the other things I've done have just been um, basically test cuts and now this was you know, the first thing we've actually cut. And I will, there's our little skeleton frame that's left over. I will try to, uh, you know, remember to link the this project down below. It was on the carbide forums, so everybody can use it. And, um, yeah, I'm going to clean these up. And then, uh, you know, I think it's mission accomplished. I think we've done our first, our first successful project. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tap these clamps. I know it's wood, so it's not going to be the strongest threads. However, I'm not going to be clamping that tightly, so I think it's just going to be fine. Um, I've chosen to go with the M6x1 threads here since it matches the holes that are already present in my Nomad. And it'll also fit the OEM plate that carbide sells that comes with the array of threaded holes. So this is just good future proofing also. Okay, let's go ahead and take it out of here and take a peek. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the threads actually look pretty good. Okay, so now that all of the clamps are tapped, let's go ahead and install the hardware. I'm going to put a washer under the bolt that's in the rear of the clamp, uh, both to you know spread the load out of this bolt and also just to protect the clamp from wear since this is the one that will be adjusted the most. This one in the center here is going to be threaded into our table. It's going to be what it actually, you know, pivots around. Okay, guys. Well, here's the finished project all installed on the Nomad. I've just clamped up a piece of cardboard to show you, you know, how it's used. Um, I do plan on using it with the threaded plate so that way I don't run the risk of actually, you know, cutting into my actual machine plate. However, I'm just, you know, giving you a demo of what it looks like. But I think this actually concludes our first successful project on the Nomad, hopefully the first of many to come. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do, and I'll see you next time.